want them to have a way out and someone to help them and answer questions they have about why, you know, maybe drinking your own pee isn't as healthy as you think it is, or why maybe NASA isn't lying to you in the Earth like every other planet in the universe is a globe. In this video, we're gonna talk about the wonderful topic of beliefs and how it's affecting your mental health. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And I try to pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you lessons on how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I'm happy. I'm in a great mood. Like this morning I was thinking, I'm like, man, I've touched on some like, I don't know, different topics. Like my last video was about like anger management and I talked about Bobby Burns the other day and toxic friends. And I'm like, I want more of like an uplifting type video. And my girl, Rachel Oates came through today and she is literally one of my favorite YouTubers. And this video that she just made about uh, changing the way people think or their beliefs or whatever is now my new favorite video of hers. So like, I will link to her video down in the description. Like, if you don't know about her channel, like, it's it's a very interesting channel. It's a great channel. Like, she 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 seems like really cool. Like she like I get like the way she thinks and like this video like solidified that. But anyway, she's like really into books. She talks about um, things like atheism on there, science. She's very smart, intelligent young woman. Like. She talks about a lot of really interesting topics. She also does some like makeup stuff on there, different book reviews and uh, and yeah, and <laughs> I joked with her the other day because she got some backlash from the community um, that drinks their own pee. And yeah, she was just laying down some science, but I'm gonna talk about that a little bit in this video. But anyways, go check her channel out. She's awesome. Like, even if you're not an atheist, like I think it's good to just kind of get more of a, a view on things. And actually I'm gonna shut up because that's actually some stuff I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So yeah, basically in her video, which you need to go watch, um, she just read a book and it, it's, it's interesting. I might actually go check that book out. I'm not really into fiction books, but I, I trust Rachel's recommendations. I actually need to finish one of the books she recommended a while ago, which was by, hold on, let me pull it up in my phone. It is How to Be Human, the manual uh, by Ruby Wax. So yeah, I'm in the middle of that book. I need to finish it. Anyways, anyways, um, this book, it, it had some interesting topics that Rachel you know, was inspired by and it's about like beliefs. Um, the book kind of talks about cults and things like that. So I wanna touch on some things that Rachel talked about because you guys, Beliefs are a huge part of mental health. Today, as I'm recording this, is actually November 6th, it's the midterm elections, and I saw people like telling me they have anxiety today and all that stuff. So like, when it comes to beliefs, whether it's religious or political or your morals or whatever it is, like our beliefs affect our mental health. So we need to talk about it. You know, they're not the sorts of things that I talk about on a daily basis on my channel, but I do talk about people like the Pearls who give these really like harmful bits of marriage advice and you know, harmful advice for hurting your children, essentially. Um, I talk about people like Laurie Alexander, the transformed wife, who is just very judgmental of everyone who isn't her, basically. Girl Defined are kind of the same. They're very judgmental of people who aren't living this perfect Christian life like they do. So when I first started watching like Rachel's video, like I, I've seen the videos and the commentary she does on um, like the, those, those sisters, what are their name? Like Girl Defined or something like that. Those of you who don't know that, they're like these two uh, young Christian women and stuff. And when Rachel was talking, like at first I was sitting there, I'm like, who cares? I'm like, like if you believe in something, like who cares? So I grew up here in Las Vegas, ton, a ton of Mormons here in Las Vegas. And I remember like looking at them and they were like, they were, they were happier than I was. Like there was no denying that they were happier than I was. But then Rachel talks about the point that I just showed you in that clip. Like, believe whatever you want. Like if you, if your kid wants to believe in Santa Claus, cool, right? But if like believing in Santa Claus might do harm to others, that's when we started, gotta start looking at this stuff and saying, okay, are my beliefs inflicting harm on other people? And something that Rachel talks about throughout this video, which is something that we need to ask is that, a lot of our beliefs come from when we're kids, right? Like, let me just throw out an example for you real quick, all right? So like, my dad taught me how to be a man, right? And, you know, as I grew up, I'm doing things that are affecting me, and then when I sat back and got quiet and asked about my beliefs about being a man, a real man does this, a real man does that, a real man does this, I questioned, I'm like, wait, 
this was taught to me as a kid. Is it? Is there even a? Is there even a chance that this might be wrong? And throughout this video, like, if you're somebody who's religious, I'm not asking you to like, you know, deny your faith or whatever. But I just love how Rachel like kind of gets your wheels turning because this is a huge part of what I'm talking about with meditation and mindfulness. Just to kind of just question your own ways of thinking because our beliefs can kill us. I'm not saying that they're like just this lost cause and we should just completely give up talking to them or trying to get through to them and just let them harm themselves. That's not what I'm saying and that's not what I mean. I think I just realized that a lot of these people, they don't want to be saved or fixed or whatever, but also they don't think they need to be. They're very content living the life that they're living and and it's not that they don't see a way out, it's that they don't want a way out. They don't think they need it. Right here, Rachel's talking about like, are these people who believe in these things, are they lost causes, right? And Rachel also mentioned that, you know, she doesn't know the exact science behind it and stuff. And I DM'd Rachel, waiting for a reply back, but I recommended a book to her called The Moral Landscape by Sam Harris. So I think Rachel would love Sam Harris. Um, he has a book called The Moral Landscape. And one of the reasons that Sam Harris gets so much pushback is his views on Islam, which I will not touch with a 10 foot pole. But basically in the book, The Moral Landscape, he talks about various religions, he talks about himself. But basically all what he's saying, what I got from this book is just kind of what Rachel was saying. Like it, it's an issue when your beliefs can hurt somebody, right? Like for example, for example, like let's look at you know, September 11th, right? These beliefs, you know, killed a ton of people, right? Like, that's an issue. When you see what happens with, you know, um, certain religions being against like homosexuality or whatever like it, that can harm people, all right? So that's kind of what Sam Harris talks about in the moral landscape. But anyways, Sam Harris is a neuroscientist as well. And he's one of the only people who has actually done neurological studies on like the science of belief. Like what happens to our brains when we have a belief? So what they did was they hooked people up to fMRI brain scans to get like a real time view of what their brains are doing. So what they found is when a person is thinking about something that they believe in, it affects the medial prefrontal cortex, okay? We know that that part of the brain is responsible for like ownership, right? This is ours, this is our thing, right? So what happens if someone steals something that you have? You get a little upset, you get a little angry, right? You might even get anxious. Think about all the emotions. So the fact that it affects that part of the brain, what Sam Harris figured out was when you have somebody question their beliefs or you have somebody talking to them and question their beliefs, you see that their fight, flight, or freeze um, response starts to go off, right? So this is why it's so difficult to change people's minds. So when like Rachel's asking like, are these people lost causes? Unfortunately, in a lot of cases, a lot of cases, people are. This is why I don't argue with people. Someone made a comment earlier like, Chris, I noticed that you only reply once, then you don't get back to people. One of the reasons is I don't get notifications, but the other thing is most of the time I will only reply once. You know why? I don't got time to argue with people. Like understanding how the brain works, I know that I can't change other people's beliefs. Like I know it, I, I know like, it is a scientific fact that it is almost impossible to change somebody's belief because a lot of people don't even know why they are responding the way that they are responding. So I, this is important about mental health. Like ask yourself this question real quick. How much anger or frustration have you had because someone in your life doesn't believe what you believe, right? Maybe this is right, this is wrong. Maybe you believe, you know, women should have equal rights and you know, somebody who doesn't think that or, you know, maybe there's uh, things about immigration that you believe and somebody else believes something else, right? Like think about these debates and arguments and like, how do you get through to that person? How do you change it? Are you wasting time? Are you wasting effort? Like me personally, like believe whatever you want. It's only an issue, like I said, when it begins to harm other people. Do you remember when one of them, I died? I know it sounds horrible, I can never remember which one's which. But remember when one of them said the line about how um, she just wishes there was this like specific rule book saying do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this, um, to give her these like exact specific rules. I feel like if she had that, she would be very certain about her life, there would be no uncertainty, there'd be no like worries, or at least not as many worries and stuff like that. This part of the video is gonna get super interesting. So Rachel, is talking about Girl Defined Wishes like there was a specific rule book. And, and yeah, so a lot of you are newer to my channel, but I made a, a video about Tristan and I are moving together and I do something every day and it's uh, 
you know, my biggest secret that Tristan didn't even know about. And it's about my spirituality. And it's about how every single day I quote unquote, pray in the shower, which is really more of a meditation. So just a little story about that, like Rachel's exactly right. Like people want this like defined rule book, right? They want to have answers because when we don't know that fear of the unknown, it makes us anxious. It can make us depressed. Like think about like nihilism and what's the meaning of all this, right? And when I started working on my mental health, like I had to believe in something, okay? So for me, my spirituality, it's not a religious spirituality, but I just believe that things are gonna work out the way they're supposed to work out. That's all that I believe, okay? Like that is the extent of my belief. And that helps me because I and my anxious brain, my generalized anxiety disorder, makes me want to have control over everything. And I have control over little to nothing. So yeah, Rachel's absolutely right. Like. You gotta understand that, you know, even though I'm not religious, I can see how having, you know, a certain path or a certain set of rules or guidelines for certain people and, you know, having having answers for themselves and their belief that what happens after they die, it helps them live a happier life. So at the end of the day, like, I do not care what people believe. If that makes them happy, you do you, baby, you do you. Again, I'll go back to what I've said throughout this video. The only time I'm worried about someone's belief is when it brings harm to other people. And something that Rachel talks about throughout this video is that there are some people, not all people, but there are some people with religious beliefs where they like feel sorry for you, right? They think that you're suffering because you don't have their same beliefs. And like that is not, that's, that could be harmful, you know? Like I know when I was growing up in Las Vegas with, you know, Mormons all over the place, like they were always trying to get me to convert to be a Mormon and stuff because like they felt like if I believed like the way they did, like my life would get better. And it's like, no, like even today, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, not religious. I know some people hate when people say that, but I'm spiritual, not religious, and I'm happy as hell, you know? So I just want you guys to think about that. Like when it comes to you know, your anxiety and you not knowing about the future and all of that, like, like I don't know, it's just a tip and if you want me to make a more in-depth video, let me know, but just a tip is just, just believe that things are gonna happen the way they're supposed to. I was actually thinking about making a video about karma. I mentioned in one of my other videos, like if karma is the extent of your spirituality, go for it. If you only believe in the, like, believe in the, the idea that doing good things will bring good things and doing bad things will bring bad things, that's cool, you know? That gives you some kind of guiding force, all right? So then this kind of leads me back to this whole big question of, if I don't think I can get through to a lot of these people, and I know they're not even gonna wanna hear what I'm saying, why do I make certain videos about, you know, debunking urine therapy, talking about why flat earthers are wrong. Why do I make videos saying how harmful certain Christian books are if they're not going to be listening to me? I guess it's not for the people who are deep into it and want to keep believing that stuff, and it's definitely not to try and insult them or make them feel uncomfortable. I guess the reason I make those videos and point out how certain actions are harmful and stuff is because I don't want other people, especially vulnerable people, to see what they're putting out and think that's the only option for them. Does that make sense? I want them to have information out there saying, no, wait, maybe this isn't the best thing to do. And this last clip right here, this last clip right here, Rachel like asking like, who do I make these videos for? Who do I make these videos for? And then she says it, she's like, maybe there's one person, maybe there's one person who comes across this video and maybe they, they feel accepted or maybe they question something. So Rachel, if you watch this, you make videos for me, right? Like my life was so dark, right? Like think about, think about how our depression fuels our beliefs. My depression tells me, my, my depression gives me the belief that I'm a piece of garbage, right? That I, I, I shouldn't be around, like I'm a terrible father, I'm a terrible boyfriend, you know? My brain is telling, filling my, my head up with just all these lies and nonsense. So I need people like Rachel that just get something to click in my head, even just for a moment, that has me question that belief. And that is one of the reasons why I love meditation so much. When you're able to sit, and one of the biggest mis misconceptions about meditation is that it's about stopping your thoughts. No, 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 it's about watching your thoughts. So when I can sit and watch my thoughts, now I can say, do I believe that thought? 
Or do I not believe that thought? And that's something that helps me get out of my depressive funks, that helps me quit being anxious. So thank, <laughs> this is a little, thank God for Rachel Oates because like, I know for a fact she's probably helped people. And like, that's one of the reasons I do this channel. I know I'm not gonna be able to help everybody with their mental or emotional well being, but if I can just help one person, one person, maybe you're watching this and maybe you're questioning, wait, maybe I'm not a bad person. Boom, my job's done, you know? So Rachel, if you're watching this, keep doing your thing, girl, and reply to my DM. <laughs> anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like, how do your beliefs affect your mental health? Or does it affect your mental health when you think you can change somebody else's beliefs? Like how often do you run into that brick wall, all right? So anyways, let's have a conversation down in the comments below, okay? But that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you are all amazing. And don't forget to go check out Rachel Oates' channel. I'm actually gonna link her video right over here, I think. All right, thanks again for watching. Question your beliefs, and I'll see you next time.